My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, peace be with you. Young people are the future of our society and they are the future of our church. Amidst all our troubles in recent times, there is hope in our future, thanks to the generous teens and young people who actively participate in church activities and wish to deepen their faith. As John writes in his first epistle, see what love the Father has bestowed on us that we may be called the children of God. Many children within our diocese actively seek the love of our Father. And later this month, many will come together to celebrate it and share it. On April 28th, the Diocese of Buffalo will proudly welcome young Catholics in grades eight through 12 to Villa Maria College for a rally known as Making Connections, a day for Catholic teens. It will be a day for young people to come together to meet fellow teens who also want to walk with Jesus Christ. They will hear the words in the songs of Alamar Jensen, our keynote speaker, whose storytelling, reflections, insights, and music are raised up to help share the presence of the Holy Spirit. At the end of the event, teens will also share in the Eucharist. I look forward to celebrating the Mass at the event. The Catholic spirit among young people is also alive in scouting. Earlier this month, I traveled to Albuquerque, New Mexico to attend the 48th Biannual Conference of the National Catholic Committee on Scouting, for which I serve as Episcopal liaison. The committee is celebrating more than a century of Catholic scouting in America. Recently, we recognized dozens of boys and girls who earned religious awards from our own diocesan committee on scouting. These awards recognize their outreach, sharing their faith and setting examples to their peers and to their communities. As an Eagle Scout myself, I am encouraged to see that faith in Jesus Christ remains alive and well among local Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, and the lesser known but proudly faithful American Heritage Girls. Faith in God has been a part of the fabric of scouting from the very beginning. Boy Scout law states that a scout must be reverent. Once again, there is hope in our future, thanks to the young people who further our faith. They deserve our unending support. They also deserve our unending protection. It is on that note that I remind us that April is National Child Abuse Prevention Month. We in the diocese continue to feel the shame and the pain inflicted by past sins against numerous young people by some of our own clergy, staff, and volunteers. I'd like to remind everyone that for more than 20 years, the diocese has had strict procedures in place aimed at preventing harm against children. Since 2003, the diocese, in collaboration with the organization Virtus, has implemented what is known as the Protecting God's Children program. It is a training for adults who work or serve in the presence of minors. It trains participants to recognize the warning signs of abuse and the tactics would-be offenders use. It also provides critical training for reporting abuse, screening potential employees or volunteers, and advocacy for victims. The Diocese through Virtus also has a plan which works directly with children known as Empowering God's Children. Under this program, parents and teachers are given the tools to work directly with children in age-appropriate lessons that help them understand their boundaries. They are taught to understand what is safe touching and what is unsafe touching. They are taught to realize they have a right to be safe and they are taught to act on behalf of friends and peers they suspect are in danger of being harmed. I encourage you to visit our diocesan website, buffalodiocese.org, to learn more about protecting God's children. As we celebrate the hope our youth bring to our Catholic faith, we must also work to ensure 
they are kept safe. The process to heal from past sins will take more time. But in the meantime, we are working as hard as we can to prevent further wounds. I hope to see you at the youth rally. May God bless us all.